there, Carolyn here with Road and Country. Um, today I was wanting to make a video on um, how to handle uh, upper respiratory infection in rodents. Uh, today I'm going to use a guinea pig as an example, uh, but what I'm going to show you today can be used for mice, can be used for birds, uh, rats, <clears throat> pretty much any animal. Um, of course, what I'm going to talk about and show today, um, you know, does not uh, eliminate you visiting a vet uh, if there is something that is serious enough that you feel that the vet is necessary. But what I find is that a lot of times uh, animals come down with these issues late at night or over the weekend and getting them to a vet is not always um, the easy thing to do or even finding a vet that, that's available during that time period. And so uh, I'm going to show you some stuff today that is, uh, you know, I encourage you to, to, to get it and have it on hand and that way if you ever need it, you'll have it. Um, and uh, today I, I just picked up a guinea pig from a friend of mine who is sounding like he's uh, potentially coming down with an upper respiratory infection. And so I'm going to not only start him on Batril, um, but I'm going to uh, do a fogging uh, with the F10 antiseptic. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, and also, I want to make note that the uh, what I'm going to be showing you today um, is not something that's approved in the United States. Uh, however, it is approved in the UK. Uh, it is done quite a bit in the UK. Um, and so the F10 products that I bought, I actually had to buy from the UK, but you can buy it here um, in the uh, in the United States. Uh, it's just the label is a little different. Uh, but when I looked at the ingredients, really, it's the same product. Um, so here in the United States, it's going to be labeled as F10 uh, SC, which stands for uh, Super Concentrate. Uh, there is another one which looks green, um, and it's uh, SC, and then I think X something. But you don't want to use that one because that's actually a detergent. Uh, and if you try to use it, you're going to have suds everywhere. So um, you definitely want to just stick with the, the, the Super Concentrate only. And you'll know the difference if you buy it here in the U.S. because it'll be a, a clear looking product versus a green looking product. The one I'm going to be using uh, is pink. Uh, it's labeled as an antiseptic uh, because it was purchased in the U.K. They do not sell it here in the U.S. <clears throat> and the directions on the bottle specifically states, uh, you know, the, the measurements and how to do what I'm going to show you today because this is what they do in the U.K. Um, the dosage that I'm going to be using on the concentrate is a 1 to 250 ratio. So um, <clears throat> what I recommend that you do is just just use a little bit of it because really the concentrate, you, you don't want it to last forever. You want to be able to use it for a few days, three days, and then make a new mixture. Um, so on the concentrate, what I did is I did 5 mLs. Um, to five cups of water. Um, it's better to use distilled water if you have it. If not, I mean, I would uh, say just use uh, the hot tap, uh, but they do recommend, at least in the uh, fogger, to use distilled water. Um, and uh, as far as the, the fogging unit, um, I'm gonna show you here in a minute which one I'm using. Um, and I chose that one over all the other ones. I did a lot of research on them, and the reason I picked that one, A, it's got um, a timer on it, and so you can set that thing on a 24-hour period to come on and off at certain intervals. So if you did want to set an animal up, let's say you're, you're going to be out of town for the day, um, you want to be able to do the fogging uh, twice a day. So you can set it up on a 12-hour interval. Uh, the only drawback with that, uh, again, I would only do that in the event that you're needing to fog, but you're not going to be home. And the reason I say that is because once you're done fogging, the animal is going to be a little bit damp uh, because of the moisture in, uh, in, in the bin from the fogger. So you're going to want to actually dry that animal off and make sure that uh, it doesn't get cold. Um, so it, it does help to actually have a heat pad 
uh, of some sort underneath the uh, the bin uh, or you know, the tote that you're going to have them in uh, to keep them warm during the treatment uh, period. Uh, so again, I'm, uh, what I'm going to be showing you is something that you're going to want to do every 12 hours um, during the same proximate time that you're going to be doing a Batril treatment. So if you're going to be giving Batril for seven days, uh, you know, not a bad idea to go ahead and, and do the um, fogging for that period of time. Now here in the U.S., this is uh, what I'm going to show you is, is actually something that's used commonly in the reptile world, uh, for snakes particularly. Um, but I, I've not talked to too many people who are familiar with this uh, when it comes to the rodent world. So hopefully this will help you learn something new and also uh, help you add something to um, the rodent tree in order to be able to have uh, something to help uh, alleviate some of the upper respiratory infections that you might come across uh, with the rodents. So. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm going to turn the video around and I'm going to show you what I'm getting ready to do. Okay, so this is what you're going to want. This is the F10 product that I bought. Uh, it's going to say antiseptic solution concentrate on there and that's because it's from the UK. You cannot purchase this in the United States. Uh, so don't look for it. You're not going to find it. Um, what I believe I did on this one is I actually had to sign up for a Amazon UK account um, and buy it through Amazon. It will not work if you try to use uh, Amazon uh, US. It will not pull up. Um, and you will have to create a completely separate account with different phone number and different email um, if you're going to use the Amazon UK because if you use the same email or um, uh, phone number it'll recognize it and tell you oh you already have another account open and it won't let you do it so anyway so this is the only way I was able to get this is through Amazon UK um, and you can see on here um, it, it's very specific uh, to what you're going to use it for so it's also good for um, you've got birds for flushing nasal cavities as well as uh, wound irrigation um, and uh, just a, a skin, skin cleaning uh, and then in the back here the directions are very very tiny but it does give you the instructions on this label um, on what to do for the the fogging so keep in mind again that in the United States you can buy F10 it will not say antiseptic solution it'll say uh, F10 SC for super concentrate and it will say disinfectant, okay, so, uh, but it is exactly the same product, the, the ingredients, everything is the same. It's just the labeling is different because FDA has not approved this in the U.S., but it is approved in the U.K. All right, so now we've covered that. Um, then this is what I chose to get. Um, so this one is by the Reptazoo. It's the Digital Timer Humidifier. Um, the fogger that is made by... Uh, Zoomed, I believe, had a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of bad reviews. Um, it, it just doesn't last. Apparently, uh, it'll work for a couple months, and then it just quits working, and that seems to be um, the common feedback that I saw on all, a lot of the um, uh, reviews that was left. So I chose to go with this one. The reviews were really good. Um, and again, it was the only one I found that actually had that built-in timer, uh, which is going to be a lifesaver if for some reason, like myself, if I have to treat an animal and I'm out of town for the weekend, uh, but I want to make sure that they get fogged twice a day, then this is going to be, uh, this is what I'm going to be using and setting the timer on it. All right. So moving right along, uh, this is the unit right here. This is what it looks like. Uh, so I've already got it filled, uh, cause I've already had to use it and you can see once I turn that on um, you'll have uh, the option here to uh, set the timer however you like uh, here this is going to basically adjust the amount of fog that comes out of this all right so um, because I'm using a very small bin I'm, I'm not going to want to use it on full blast all right, which will be this is going to be full blast right here I mean this thing will put out a lot of fog uh, so I'm going to actually use it just on uh, the low setting, 
it's going to be plenty. Um, and you can see that this is five cups worth in here. I, I wouldn't want to fill this whole thing up just because it, you know, I don't think that the concentrate, in my opinion, is going to uh, still be as efficient. So I just went and did a, a five cup mixture with a five ml. And this is going to last me for a while because I'm only going to be doing the treatments for 30 minutes at a time. And it's twice a day. So just 30 minutes, twice a day. All right, so uh, on this particular fogger, you can see here, um, you've got these little holes. This allows you to actually fill this unit up uh, without having to do anything with it. So if you had to add water and you're just using it as a fogger, let's say you got some uh, chameleons or you know anything needing humidity and you did want to use it as a, uh, as a fogging system, um, this thing is super easy to, to fill without having to carry the tank and, and do whatever with it. All right, and so here's the hose. Okay, um, so now what I'm going to do is, I'm again, I'm treating a guinea pig right now, so uh, this is not the tote that he's going to be in, um, but this is the treating tote. So what I do with this is basically, it's small enough for the guinea pig, and then this, this would be good size if you had mice or rats, um, and then I just put a fleece uh, piece down there because this fleece is going to be wet by the time I'm done and I'm going to want to put a new piece in there for the next treatment and then he's going to need to be basically wiped down and dried once I'm done. So what I'm going to do is he's going to be in here. I'm just going to put the lid on and actually in this lid here I can invert it like that and I'm just going to crack it just big enough to be able to stick the hose in the corner. This is kind of hard to do with one hand. All right, but you can adjust, you can actually bend this hose any which way you want to direct it. Okay, so as you can see, this is what I'm gonna do with it. Okay, and it's just gonna hang like that. All right, and so you can see that it's gonna, it, it is gonna start to to accumulate a mist in there um, and it that's what he's going to be inhaling so the antiseptic uh, which kills the bacteria is actually going to get in his lungs and it's going to actually start helping in uh, killing off any of the bacteria uh, that is in the lungs again you know it's always good to uh, talk to a vet as soon as you can uh, ensure that you're dealing with a bacterial issue because this this is not going to do a whole lot for you other than um, help with uh, secondary uh, infections if you're dealing with a viral issue. Um, so again, here we are. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is take a towel and I'm going to cover this with a towel because basically I want this fog to stay inside the container. So I'm just going to take it And there we have it, okay? So, all right, so here's the guinea pig. And I'm just gonna let it sit for 30 minutes, put a timer on it. And you can see how it's getting kind of foggy. Now, if you're using a bigger container um, and you feel that you don't have a, enough fog in there, then you could certainly turn it up. So if I turn it up to the next level, you'll see just how much more of a put out you got in there. And it, it's it's gonna get pretty thick in there where you, you won't actually be able to see the animal anymore, but um, this is what you want right there, okay? So if you're using a bigger container, then you're, you're probably gonna wanna have this setting on high just so that you have the entire content filled with the fog. Okay, um, I think I've covered everything on this. If you have any questions, feel free to message me. Uh, be sure to visit. Um, be sure to visit me on my Facebook page at Road and Country. Also, you can follow me on MeWe, um, and uh, uh, you know, join, like, subscribe, share, uh, all of that good stuff. I appreciate you watching the video. Leave some comments if you feel that this has been helpful for you. 
uh, again, any, any questions, feel free to message me. I'll be glad to answer them. Um, and yeah, so I hope this was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.